Hello and welcome. If your interviewer is trying to find out whether you have practical knowledge of Spark or not, he will definitely ask you what are the different out of memory issues that you have faced in Spark because out of memory is one of the most common issues that a Spark developer faces. So in this video, we're going to talk about what are the different scenarios in which you can face Spark out of memory issues. So whenever Spark goes out of memory, there can be two reasons. Either your driver will go out of memory or your executor will go out of memory. So let us first talk about driver. One of the most common reasons for driver to go out of memory is collect operation in driver. Let us see. Suppose you have a driver, you have executor. There is a big file which has multiple parts. It is sitting on different machines. This file is being referred using a data frame and you call a collect operation on the data frame. As soon as you call a collect operation, Spark will try to get all these parts on driver and try to merge it and create a single file. Now the file can be very big and it may breach the memory capacity of driver. Then your driver will go out of memory. This is one of the most common reason for driver to go out of memory. Next common reason is broadcast join. Let us see how broadcast join can cause a out of memory issue on driver. You have a driver, you have executors. There is one big file which is sitting on different machines and there is a small file which is sitting on two machines. Now you want to join both of these files. So here one file is big and other file is small. So first thought you will get in your mind is that okay, can I do broadcast join here and reduce my shuffle? But the file is not small enough to sit on a single machine. It is slightly bigger, but still you will try to do a broadcast join. For broadcasting this small file, Spark will bring these two small files on driver. It will merge it and create a bigger file. Now, if the bigger file is very big, and it breaches the memory capacity of a driver, then again on the driver side, you will see a out of memory issue. How can we avoid this memory issue? So either we can increase the driver memory or we can reduce the threshold limit for broadcast table that the table should be smaller than certain size, then only the broadcast can happen. Now let us see when our executor can go out of memory. Before getting into the issue, let us understand at very, very high level that how is memory segregated at executor level. So you have a node and node will be assigned some level of memory. Then within that node, an executor container will be running. Within that container, you will have dedicated memory as yarn memory overhead. And there will be specific set of memory for executor. And executor will further divide the memory into storage memory and executor memory. I'm not going into that details for simplicity. Now, whenever the executor goes out of memory, most of the time, it is yarn memory overhead, which is running short of the capacity. What I mean to say here is, it is the yarn memory overhead, which needs to get increased to avoid out of memory. Now the question is, what is stored in yarn memory overhead? So this is the off heap memory part of executor. So what is stored in this off heap? So whatever strings you create as part of your uh, uh, program, Spark creates a hash table of that. It's, these are called interned strings. So those are stored here. Spark internal objects are also stored here. If you are using language other than Scala, like R or Python to run your uh, Spark code, right? If you have coded in R or Python, then all the objects for those languages are also stored in YARN memory overhead. Usually YARN memory overhead is 10% of total memory assigned to your executor. It has to proportionately increase as the memory requirement of your executor increases. So if you get an error like yarn killed the container because it was breaching memory limits, uh, consider increasing yarn memory overhead, then this is the reason. So you need to increase the uh, capacity of yarn memory overhead part. Let us move to the next one. Other big reason for uh, getting out of memory in executor is high concurrency. Let us see why this happens. Suppose you have a machine. You have multiple executors in that machine and every executor has many cores. So you have uh, assigned uh, cores to executor without thinking about the capacity of your machine. So here I have assigned 10 cores to each executor. Usually you will see that you, will, you are assigning four or five cores to each executor. Now let us see what will happen if I assign number of cores to executor without thinking much about my machine capacity. Now, if an executor has 10 cores, it will pick up 
10 partitions and try to process them. Each partition will have its own metadata and its own overhead memory requirements. Total memory available to the executor will be divided among these executor cores. Now, as I have assigned lot of cores to an executor, each executor has to store huge amount of metadata and it will have huge memory requirements also. But the machine on which the executor is running may not have that capacity, right? So assigning more cores to the executor will cause a problem that each core will have smaller part of the memory available to them to process a big partition. But if executor is having only four or five cores, then the each core will have appropriate amount of memory with it to handle the partition. So thumb rule here is to not, not assign so many cores to each executor. We should assign only four to five cores to each executor. Next reason for executor out of memory is when one of your partitions is very big. So for some reason, there may be a machine on which the partition is very big and uh, the other machines have smaller partitions. The executors on the other machine will work fine, but the executor which is trying to handle the bigger partition, that may face a problem. Usually we will use ORC or Parquet format to store this data. Whenever executor tries to read this data, it will uncompress the data also. There may be so much of metadata that may get created and there may be so much of overhead objects that may get created while reading these partitions, which may cause out of memory issue on executor. So what can we do here? So we should make sure that our partitions are of appropriate size. So the solution here is to reduce the size of partition by dividing existing partition into multiple parts. So let us summarize it. So there can be two reasons of having memory issue. First one is the memory issue in driver. It can be because of collect operation in driver where we are trying to get a big file from the cluster on the driver. Or it can be because of broadcasting a huge amount of data. Our executor may go out of memory because of reading a big partition. Or our yarn memory overhead memory part may be very small. Or you may be trying to set up very high concurrency within a executor. In next part of this video, we will see more reasons why Spark can end up in out of memory situation. Please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching the video.